I'm uh, Kevin De Smet. I'm uh, one of the co-organizers of uh, Brussels Beer Fest. Uh, we're on 2019, it's our third edition, uh, so we started with this in uh, 2017. Actually, the, the core uh, group of this uh, festival is uh, me uh, and Vincent Carly, who is actually ac active, active in the beer combination uh, sector as uh, Meet My Beers. We got Jean Humler from uh, Moeder Lambic, uh, Olivier De Smet from uh, Doet Nichinouk. And the history in uh, four years ago, actually, we sat together. We're saying to each other, we got uh, all this festival going around in uh, Amsterdam, we got London, uh, America, everywhere. And in Belgium, we had a lot of festivals, small festivals, small town festivals. We had the Belgian Beer Weekend in Brussels on the, on the Grand Place. And we said it misses something because it doesn't show what is actually going on in, in, in the beer scene in Belgium. So we have all these small microbreweries that are brewing a bre different thing than all the big industrial guys. And we, we needed something. Uh, we sat together and we said we're going to do something. We need to do something that sets Brussels in front, then Belgium and then gather, gather complete with friends of us and show the people what is actually going on in, in the beer scene. And that was the first idea. We started in 2017 and the idea was from the start. We didn't want to start small. Uh, it's a thing we felt the first year financially was a bit of a, a difficult thing. But we wanted to make a big festival that means uh, 60 breweries and get a lot of people in to uh, discover those brewers. And we're talking not only beer geeks, the, the beer uh, connoisseurs and all, we wanted to attract a, a different kind of public. So also people that are not known to what is going on in the scene, really to show this is the scene of Belgium and outside of Belgium and this is what's going on in the beer scene, it was the first idea. So, First year, 2017, was 3,200 visitors, 60 breweries. Uh, 2018 already we went up uh, 5,200. And this year we're going to have around 6,000, more than 6,000 people. And we're also trying to make a different festival, uh, create a, a, a value and it's more than just a general festival. We are doing tastings, so intimate settings. The brewers uh, gather around 30 people. They show their beers, the people can ask questions, uh, get to learn uh, the, the beers. We do culinary sessions. This year we have uh, uh, Michelin star Couvert Couvert doing a session with uh, a beer from Boca. We got uh, Damien Boucherie from Boucherie with Cantillon, uh, Florent Ladin from uh, Lille. Uh, we got uh, Les Eleveurs from Hull, who did also did a pairing with Boca. So it's really about creating something more for the visitor. Kevin, uh, what would you then describe the Belgian craft beer scene as? Um, slow, but steadily picking up. Uh, I think the Brussels scene is, uh, is, is, is a nice example of what's going on now. It's been really calm since long. You only had Cantillon, you only had De La Seine, and now you have uh, guys like uh, No Science, uh, Ons Tumelings, uh, there's a new project coming up, uh, uh, La Source, uh, we've got L'Hermitage, who's really uh, magnificent beers. So, it took a while, but we're getting there, we're getting there. It's not only in Brussels, of course. Uh, we see it around in Flanders also, in Wallonia. We've got some guys, super guys from uh, deep south of Wallonia, from the uh, Chaldera region. So it's, it's coming on, it's, uh, it's going on, yeah. Is there a special craft style that's emerging from Belgium? Or is it following the trends? It's, 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 it's following the trends, but we got one step ahead. It's always our spontaneous fermentation beers. So oh, everybody tries to copy, but I, everybody's doing a good job. I, I always think Belgium is still the best in that. So in that, we're still a step ahead. And the rest is following. I see IPAs here and there. I see uh, starts coming on. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's following. You know. What would you say, um, how do you choose the, uh, the international beers that you choose? Uh, the same way we choose all the beers, all the breweries are here. We select them, we invite them. Uh, a brewery that comes to us and says, hey, I want to be there next year. Like, no, sorry, we'll see. We invite you, that's the idea. Uh, we got a, it's written on our, on, under our logo, the crossroads of beer and friends. And that's not an idle word, because all the brewers, either we know them, our guys know them, or a brewery that we know knows them, or collaborated with them, are friends with them, used to work uh, at the brewery. There's always somewhere a connection. And on that base, we try to invite the breweries. Where do you see the festival going in terms of growth or...? Bigger than this. Still bigger than this. Uh, we want to uh, open it even more to the, like I say, normal public, uh, really. 
what I said before, uh, the people need to discover what is going on. I really want to open it to everyone. So, yeah, okay, the beer geeks, the, everybody, they know all the styles, they know all the beers, they know the breweries. I want more people to come and just discover what's going on. So, I'm talking 6,000. I hope next year it will be 7,000, maybe 8,000. Uh, we really want to make a, a big beer festival. Is bigger always better? Bigger is not always better. I think ours is better. <laughs> but, but the space we have here, Twin Taxi, is, uh, is unique as well. It's fabulous. And I think the way we build up the, the breweries, so we don't make just an aisle with a brewery, another aisle with a brewery, it's all set together in separate spaces. There's always some kind of link between the breweries we put together. And in the room, we actually 60 breweries, but I think there's a lot of space to walk in between. And even if there's a lot of people in it, it can feel crowded, but it's not like another festival that's overcrowded and you feel like this uh, sitting to next to each other and trying to get your beer. I think here it's a bit more organic, it's a bit more uh, free. Yeah. I don't want to put you on the spot, but what would be some of the more exciting brewers that you see here? Here, um, well, I've been a fan since uh, a while from uh, Mills Brewing from the UK. They were here last year. It was a bit of a hidden gem because mm, everybody passed along, didn't really try it. They're growing now. They're here again. I really love them. A couple makes uh, spontaneous beers in the UK, uh, sublime. I love Burning Sky. Uh, a big one for me this year is The Guard from uh, Portland, America. Uh, I've been hunting Trevor and Lindsay for a while now. Uh, they finally came, uh, Trevor came, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, of course, we got Tilcan, Cantillon, always proud about that. I uh, got Hermitage, the Brussels ones. Ugh. We got 60 breweries. Mm, it's really difficult to pick just one, uh, but yeah, I'd say uh, The Guard for me. Yeah.